friends. So today's video, we are going to be distressing this baby here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but in a previous video, we took in the seams of this uh, this nightgown because it was way too big for me. I honestly could take it in probably another like two two inches on each side, but uh, well, we'll see. But anyway, I found the overcoat slash robe. Um, so this completes the set of this cosplay that I'm going to be doing for Morgan Jones. Morgan Jones's wife, Jenny Jones, in her zombified form. So the first step of this process is going to be weathering the crap out of this nightgown. So I am going to be mixing up a mixture of water inside of this container and brown dye to start. That's gonna be an all over situation, all over both the inside and the outside nightgown just to give it a more dirty look. A lot of people do coffee and tea dyes. Um, that has never given me the look that I want. So we're just gonna do the diluted brown. Then I'll add some black to that mixture to make some spots even darker, especially around the hem that would be dragging in, in the dirt and the mud. And then we'll do some red, which, what is this one? This is a dark scarlet. And we'll add that to wherever the wounds are. So some diluted and undiluted um, dark scarlet paint towards here, like she has a wound on her chest and then a wound on her wrist. So we're gonna do that around uh, one of the arms. Yeah, so let's go, let's get started. This is gonna be a multi-day situation since things have to dry. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so yes, just you can see the difference. Just a light smattering because she has been <laughs> in the dirt, grime. And the elements. Okay, so you guys get the point. I'm gonna, oh shoot, that's a good thing that I put that there. That was not, that was intentionally for, but we do have some drips. I'm actually gonna move this into my, into another space so we don't get too much going on um, and mess wise. But yeah, that's where we have it so far. It's looking a little orange, but uh, hopefully <laughs> it tries an actual dark brown, but that's just the start. Okay, so now I've mixed up some of the black inside with the brown, made it a little bit more concentrated. So we're just really getting that hem be really dirty and I'm getting it on the wall so I'm gonna get out of I'm gonna stop <laughs> recording but that's what that's looking like and I like it <laughs> I'm gonna slightly boring it up a little bit too so it's not just super concentrated on the hem but yeah don't want to get any more of that on the wall so I'm gonna stop recording now okay so that's what that's looking like that's obviously just the first coat and it has to dry, so I brought the spray up a little bit and then I'm just like, screw it, I'll bring it up, uh, do some like light spray oh, all over the whole thing. Like those little spots can be like multi bits. Um, she's out in the element, so. 
have this sanding sponge that I got from Dollar Tree. Doesn't really say the grit, but it has a rougher texture and a smoother texture, so we'll see how it works. I'm just gonna take it and just drag it across the fabric here. Um, and I did it a little bit. I did a test strip. Where did the test strip go? that it caused the fabric to pill up just a little bit there so I'm just gonna take it and just drag it across um, a lot of the areas in front and definitely along the hem oh I did find some darker red and that's undiluted um, and that's actually black blood <laughs> that I had also that I just dripped a little bit onto the sleeve just to see what what it would look like I'm gonna let both of them dry and see how they come out in the daytime being a little heavy-handed with the sander and it caused a hole like this fabric is super delicate apparently um, I don't think I was even going that hard but it caused a hole it's absolutely fine <laughs> it does need holes especially in this hem part but um yeah I'm just gonna take it easier when I'm working the sanding <laughs> stone um, up here it did cause some holes here, but I figured that was just because it was lace. But um, yeah, it, it actually put a hole in the fabric. So it's gonna let be a little clear, a little more careful. Tackle the bottom. I did kind of the same thing. I um, put, created a hole in it with a sandpaper and then the script. And that's what I'm just gonna do. Continue along the edge of both of the robe and the inner nightgown. And also, I'm gonna, you know, dirty it up some more. 
um, after I distress it. Because when I was, when I went back to distress the cuff some more, when I um, used the sanding, it kind of took some of the color off. So I think we're gonna distress first and then um, try and dirty it up. the fabric so I can't show it one-handed but so I used it right here you can see it rubbed some really nice holes in the fabric without it looking too perfect so I think I'm gonna continue to use that silver part to rough it up some more okay friends so I think we are done for the most part distressing Hopefully this dries a fraction of how brown it is. Um, so I'm really loving how that looks. The tub is destroyed, but this is what the gown is looking like. Like maybe a couple days before the con, I'll put some actual fake blood on here, let it dry in up there as well. But um, yeah, got the bottom part. what the bottom is looking like. Added some black and some brown to it. Okay y'all, so that is the completed gown. As far as distressing and weathering goes. Um, it did dry a little lighter than I want it to, but I think this is a good a good spot to leave it for now. Romeo, please. Even though his claws would be a great extra distressing at the bottom. But please, sir. Thank you. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this weathering journey uh, for this cosplay. Make sure to come back and see how the wig styling and the makeup goes. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!